Hello YouTube. Welcome to another edition of Students Cookery. Do a quick video today. We're gonna do uh, some beer cheeseburgers. First here, we're just gonna uh, make a little cheese sauce, a little beer cheese sauce. So I got two tablespoons of butter uh, melting down here. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of flour. I already got the burgers going. Oh, I'm not going. The burgers are uh, already pre-made. And today's burgers is four pounds of uh, ground beef and one pound of Italian sausage. I've been, uh, with my burgers lately, I've been mixing about a pound of Italian sausage or any kind of ground sausage in with the burgers. Um, it's hard to make a dry burger if you do it that way. You just have to know who your, who your company is so that you don't, uh, if they don't like uh, pork. But we're doing this all right here. So we're out here on the Blackstone today. It's a nice, uh, nice day. I did have the race on a minute ago behind me. Uh, it's still on. Nice cigar going. Nice Guinness Blonde. And that's the, uh, that's the beer we're going to use here today. I might have picked the wrong pot to do this with. But so I got this nice and let that cook down just a minute or two. Has a nice little. I love the smell of a nice roux, but we don't want to. We don't want to brown. So you want to do it quick. You want to keep it moving. All right. Now we're gonna pour our beer in. Now I've never made this before, so this is gonna be pretty much trial and error here. Beer's gonna foam up a touch. Make sure that I have all my. There we go. Guinness Blonde. I let it sit out a minute so it wasn't so foamy. So that's about a cup worth. But I didn't get it all in there yet. But I need uh, something. Keep an eye out for me, YouTube. That pot's a little hotter than I thought it was going to be. Let's make a makeshift pot holder here. Alright, I'm going to do some fries on the... Uh, the old... Uh, deep fryer over here next to me. I know you've all seen my fries. Alright, let's get a little more beer in there. Get that rolling. Let that cook down a touch. First time using the Blackstone in a while. Probably should have grabbed a whisk and a pot that was flat. This one has kind of like a bevel in it that's making it a little difficult here, but that's getting nice and nice consistency right there. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's get the rest of that cup of beer in there because it should keep thickening up. Because I'm making this a little bit ahead of time. I cook down a minute, as you can see. And then I got about seven ounces of uh, cheddar cheese here that I grated myself. Remember, you always want to try to grate your own cheese because grated, pre-grated cheese has cellulose. I think that's what it's called in it, and it keeps it from clumping together. So this will thicken up a little bit. We'll let the beer cook out a little bit. Another minute here. Keep it moving so we don't burn it. So we switched from last set of videos. I was doing soups. And we went to, uh, now we're on NASCAR for a little while. We'll stick with NASCAR for a little while. Um, MLS is running too. So maybe we'll... I was thinking about trying to do some hot dogs or some burgers based on uh, cities. This was, uh, I got this video, thought about this one because I was at Hardee's one day, and I don't eat Hardee's often, but I did, uh, I had their beer cheeseburger. Wasn't much to it. It was kind of messy. Didn't have much flavor. That's why I'm using the Guinness Blonde. Go a little lower here. So I'm going to get this done. 
Now I'm going to put just a little bit of crushed salt in there, uh, fresh crushed salt, fresh crushed pepper, and here a little bit of this, a pinch of cayenne. It's a little cooler down here on this side, but you can't see it there, so let's keep it right there. Let's get some cheese in now. The cheese will start melting in there, look at that. Also thin this out with a little bit of a uh, little bit more beer, which means I got to open a second beer. I'd hate to have to open another beer, but let this just melt down here. It's hot on the hands. You know, some of them make the the, the cheese. Uh, Creamy, silky, but I don't know. What I think I'm going to do right here is, I think I'm just going to put it on one of the other sides that are warm here for a little bit. I'll let it sit here and add some salt, pepper, cayenne, take a taste of it, and then uh, we'll come back to you when we're ready to make the burgers. All right, welcome back. We got our cheese. Just staying warm over here. We got some uh, caramelized red onions. Let's get some burgers on here. Get some burgers going. Behind you, you can hear the uh, the fryer going because I got the fries in. smell the sausage as soon as you put it on. We got the sausage going, I mean not the sausage. The burger's going, which again has uh, ground beef and sausage in there. We got our uh, beer cheese ready to go here. Our onions, we're going to slice up some, some tomatoes and some uh, put some lettuce on these burgers. And uh, we'll show you what's going on here in a few minutes.
let's see what we got here. So we got some some burgers, we got some toasted sourdough buns. Let's get a little bit of live lettuce on the bottom of one. Got a nice. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we'll put some. These are some caramelized red onions. On there. We got a beer cheese. Look at that, huh? All right. We got some bacon. Get some bacon on there too. Nice slice of tomato. And there's one. All right. Let's see. Let's see number two. Nice live lettuce. Live lettuce. Got a nice burger. Got some onions. Got some cheese going on there, some beer cheese. There we go. And we got some bacon. A nice slice of tomato. There's number two. Down. All right. Now number three is not going to get anything else. It's just going to get a burger. We got that one. Whereas this one can be mine because it's a little thicker. Might be a little less done. Got a... Our onions. We got our cheese. All right. There we go. And we got our bacon over here too. Nice bacon. Nice slice of cheese. Here's number three. How about a piece of tomato for the cook? Oh yeah. And one last burger. Doesn't get nothing on it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you liked the, the beer cheese recipe. Real simple. Nice and thick. We'll see you next time.